Hello everyone, and welcome to the fourth part of the PyQt model view programming series. My name is Yasin, and I'll be your instructor. Last time, we went through and learned how to create a two-dimensional table model to display items in table views. We learned that table models not only need to provide row count, but they also need to provide the method called column count so the table view can interpret the data correctly when displaying them. You should now be able to understand how to implement table models. Our goal in this tutorial is to learn how tree models work. Tree models are hierarchical data structures that can display objects with parent-child relationships. Imagine that you're making a level editor in PyQt for a game, and you're given the task where you need to provide a way for the designers to view the scene graph of the current level. The scene graph might hold items such as transform nodes, light nodes, camera nodes, geometry nodes. Our goal is to make something simple similar to what I just described. So before discussing and implementing the tree model itself, we need a way to represent our data. We used a list to store and hold items we wanted to display in a list model in a previous tutorial. We used a nested list to store and hold items we wanted to display in a table model, again in a previous tutorial. So to make a hierarchical data, we will actually implement our own class. This class will hold references to its children and also a reference to its parent. We will start off by making a class called node and then we will subclass it and implement several other types of nodes such as a camera, a transform and a light, each displayed differently in our tree view. 